to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about um, combining like terms in order to simplify an expression. And you need to do a couple things in order to simplify correctly. First, let's talk about combining like terms. This means that we combine terms that are the same with the same variables. Another trick, you may want to highlight, circle, or even box the like terms to help you see it more clearly. Anytime you have, uh, there's not a number in front of the variable, it is understood that a 1 is in front. For instance, y would equal 1y. Next, if you have a constant and a variable multiplied together, write the number as a coefficient in front of the variable. So 9 times 8 becomes 9h t times 21 becomes 21t. And then finally, if the variable has exponents, write the one with the larger exponent first. And I have this written out. If you have x, x cubed, and x squared, you would write it out as x cubed first, x squared second, and then the x. Okay. So now let's go ahead and now and put these a uh, couple little tips or rules into practice. Um, let's begin with this. We have 11n plus 7n squared minus 3n squared plus 2n plus 4. So why don't we do this? Let's underline the n. So there's an n, and here's an n. Let's put a box around the squared. That's kind of a box. And how about we circle the number? So now we can kind of visually see the like terms. So we have 11n plus 2n, that is 13n. And then we have 7n squared minus 3n squared. So that becomes a positive 4n squared. And so I'll put a check by what we've used so far. So now all we have left is a positive 4. And then I would rewrite this. Remember the rule with the um, exponent. I would write it 4n squared, because remember, they have the same n's, plus 13n plus 4. Okay, so there we go. First example, combining like terms. So now let's go next one. And remember, we have 4 times b plus 3b plus 10b. And this is really pretty easy because we all have the same like terms, but I'm going to multiply 4 times b. So this becomes a 4b. So now I just add it. 4b plus 3b is 7b plus 10b is equal to 17b. Okay, pretty straightforward there. And next we have this one here. We have 5x minus x plus 2x squared plus 13, plus 8x, minus 4, minus x squared. So we have a lot of numbers and variables and exponents in there. So let's start underlining like terms. Let's go with just the x. Let's underline. So there's one, here's one, and there's one. And let's put a square around the squares. And why don't we circle the numbers? Okay, so there we have underlined squared circle. So now let's just start combining like terms. So underlines, we have 5x minus x is 4x. And then we have an 8x, so that becomes 12x. So I'm going to write this down here. So we have 12x, and I'm going to put a check mark by what we've gone over to make sure we do everything correctly. And then we have the boxes, x squared and that's a minus x squared, so that becomes a positive x squared. And then I'll put a check by them, make sure we've done that. And then all we have is we have 13, and that was a minus 4. So 13 minus 4 becomes a positive 9. Okay, so then I will just rewrite this just a little bit. I will put the x squared first, plus 12x, plus 9, and there we go. I hope that helps with combining like terms. Thanks for watching, 
and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.